hello libra welcome to my channel i got messages for you i know i know it's a little different right now libra my nails not done okay i'm not on camera libra listen it's been hectic the, these last couple of days okay but promise you guys like i'll be back on camera um possibly next week hopefully um i'm just getting the Y'all know I'm be sometime, but um, I know I said I was gonna pop out for Libras do and show my face on camera with y'all, but I've been so busy, like literally, like I mean, really, really busy. So let's tap in, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, I don't have any messages as of yet. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Okay. I was so busy, I had to do me some cornrows, Libra. Straight to the backs, okay? Straight to the back cornrows. Well, they're not straight to the back, but you get me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, thank you guys for supporting me, Libras. Y'all already know. I really, really appreciate the support. Let's tap into the energy and let's see what's going on for you, Libra. Okay. Um, a guardian angel could be watching over you or this is a narcissist here. Okay. A narcissist guardian angel could be watching over you, Libra, which is crazy. That's what I'm picking up. Or this is a, a narcissist guardian angels. Or a narcissist feel like you're their guardian angel. Maybe this person feels like you saved them from something here. Whoever this is, they're full of themselves. Okay. I'm picking up. You could be dealing with someone that possibly likes to wear suit ties. Um, You know, they could like... I'm picking up somebody here that really, really like talks to themselves in the mirror. Or they boost up their, their ego in the mirror. I'm picking up your guardian angels could be going after this narcissist. Yeah. So your guardian angels could be spying on a narcissist. They have their eye on this narcissist. So, mm, I don't know what that narcissist did. Look how that, we have commitment. So things are about to get serious, Libra. With you or with someone here in regards to a love spell. Whoever this is. You've been bewitched, a love spell. So somebody here could be doing a love spell, somebody here in a commitment, or they want a commitment from you, or they want you to review something, they want you to, or something here that has to do with um, Mercury retrograde, somebody possibly could have did a love spell to get in a commitment. There could be some electronic issues here or communication issues, okay, in regards to intimacy, or this could have had something to do with Mercury retrograde. This could have been like um an energy doing like a love spell during Mercury retrograde. They possibly took a risk during Mercury retrograde to do this. Mm. And pregnancy could have came up out of here. Someone is expecting for you to let go and just say no because it's not the right time. Okay, when it comes to changing the residence, moving in with your partner, I feel like maybe you could be telling this person no. That you don't want to move in with them whoever this is this could be someone that's pregnant and they're like no i don't want you moving in with me or i don't want to move in together at all so yeah your intuition told you that luck was on your side or yes luck is on your side when you use your intuition so that way you don't ignore the red flags by whoever this is that's spying on you to see if you're intimate with someone or if you have chemistry or if you're reminiscing with someone that you possibly have moved on with because this person wasted your time yeah i'm picking up someone here was still trying to figure themselves out sexually so it's like mm. yeah libra so let's see what's the overall energy What's the of our energy here? Believe me. Spirit guides, angels, and is good. What's the of our energy here, believe me? Like I said, y'all, I'm gonna have my nails done. <laughs> I just, I honestly, I really needed a break too from the. What's the messages here? 
We have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Find it out. Things come into light. Adapt, change, and heal. So you could be finding out that somebody here was in a, in a serious connection or they're getting in a serious commitment here. Or you could be healing from being in a commitment with someone. Or this could have been a love spell trapped commitment. Okay. Mm. We have hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Somebody keeps doing these love spells. Even it's like every time an energy says like, oh, it's over. I don't want to date you. I want to date someone else here with the date and a love call. I want to date someone else. I feel like that energy keeps trying to rebuild something that is already done. Whoever this is, maybe it's the narcissist. I don't know. They keep trying to do this love spell. It's like the same old goddamn love spell they do. Well, you know, that person, they done with me. They put they, they put a nail in the coffin. It's done. This person sabotages themselves every time from doing this love spell. I'm getting this is repetitive. They keep doing this. They're very persistent on doing this love spell. So that way you do not get, enough, get away from them. But Libra, this connection you're frustrated in it or there's a lack of confidence or this person has a lack of confidence they don't want to see you dating no one else we have frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear 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 of ego issues jealousy so this person you could be dealing with someone that's very jealous i'm talking about this person so jealous like you can't you can't talk to another person as soon as you talk to somebody else they're gonna like be like oh you a hoe or you friendly or you're this or you're that okay <laughs> we have i like you i'm getting this person could have came back around during murky retrograde or they're planning to come back around during murky retrograde so this is what they're working on now is a love spell for some of you this person could already be in a commitment with someone else you already found out about them being in a commitment with this person you adapted to to it you changed you healed okay because this could have been something here that came to the light and it's like even though they're in a commitment they're still doing a love spell on you so that way you they could come back around and this this is giving me like the page of cups like i like you um romance is blooming fun flirting wanting to date, date you so i'm picking up august uh murky retrograde um i think is it from the august 5th to the 28th so be expecting to reach out this person possibly gonna be reaching out to you around august 5th and i'm getting it could be like online communication it could be online communication for sure we have the grim reaper this person takes risks so I feel like um, you took a risk and ended it. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow in and transform your life. Yeah, this person is going to be calling you or this could be someone new that could be calling you or expressing their, you know, how they feel about you or letting you know that they're thinking about you. This could be someone new that wants, you, wants to date you, Libra. You may be meeting somebody new, but I feel like this person that you meet new possibly has some like codependent issues or they could be like obsessive. Or they could be a little bit controlling as well. And they have a block or a restraint on their life. Yeah, so I feel like you're not going to deal with this new person either. I feel like you got all types of people here coming at you from different angles. Could be narcissists from every angle. This could be like, you know, what they call those uh, covert narcissists or something like that. Yeah. Be mindful too. If this person is in a commitment with with someone already they could be doing a love spell on this person because they want to give up it's like this is a cycle going on over and over and over again let's see what's the messages here for libra so i'm picking up some of you possibly found out that you were pregnant when the connection was over with already that's how that shit happened. When the connection be over with, you be finding out that you fucking crazy. Ain't that some shit. What's the message is here for Libra? We have the chariot. Yeah. You could be moving on or something here is getting serious with the cancer. You could be dealing with the cancer here. Okay. Or you could be moving on from a cancer. But it's said that things are getting serious. Somebody here could be like driving or or riding around together. 
we have the knight of swords yeah it's like this person's rushing in to go and do a love spell or this could be with someone this gemini it could be a gemini cancer um what is it gemini cancer cuz or cancer Gem gemini cancer cuz i'm picking up this person likes you not a wands but they could have been in and out I just feel like this person could be a little bit immature and childish. They could be rushing right towards you. Yeah. They could be immature and very childish. I'm getting this person's like rushing. It's like once something is over, they're rushing to go and do this love spell. So that way you will want to work on it. Or you will be thinking like, hmm, maybe I should work on this connection. You know, well, I do kind of miss them or well maybe we should rebuild it maybe we should work on it oh uh, libra yeah you could be dealing with a, a sagittarius a gemini or a cancer here we have the empress so libra you're coming out right underneath problems with addiction or gambling bad finances so maybe you need to pay attention to your money or this could be you like you it's i mean the empress is someone here that sits pretty or they're stable okay you maybe you need to pay attention to your money okay because somebody here could have a problem with addictions or maybe you like to spend money or you like like the you like the nice things libra and it's nothing wrong with liking the nice things but if you can go and get it on like um you know save this one store has it for like it is 49.99 and you can go and find that same thing for um 25.99 you know what i mean that'll be like a steal i mean you're gonna get what you want no matter what but i just feel like when it comes to like um spending money because i'm picking up like um it's nothing wrong with being bougie or anything like that if you got it then you know maybe you found out that this person had problems with addiction or gambling or they were ma managing their finances poorly and you're the fucking empress you're someone here that's supposed to be taken care of and they couldn't 12 22 yeah they possibly couldn't do that for you or they couldn't give you anything so this person possibly needs to grow and transform their life you could be dealing with a scorpio here with this grim reaper okay what's the chariot the temperance energy so this could be someone new coming in with the temperance energy this could be a cancer so this could be someone new coming to you maybe you're going to get serious with this cancer or maybe this cancer has like significant sagittarius placements here but there's some type of peace here moderation like um maybe you you you're um you guys are like the perfect blend or something here about you guys you blend perfectly or you just mesh well yeah where you will have like victory or success or something here about forgiveness as well libra i feel like you and this this cancer you're going to forgive this cancer or this cancer is going to forgive you or something like that we have the moon so yeah so there's something going on in secret maybe this is something that you don't know about or somebody's keeping their moves private or they're trying to keep their relationship private and maybe you already know about this relationship here we have cancer pisces and i feel like you to me the tempers is like you just remain peaceful you're like okay well you know i know about your secret relationship that you tried to keep private i already know what's going on so all right well i'm just keeping peaceful and i'm gonna move on with my life but i feel like as soon as you move on it's like this energy is like rushing towards you like wait a minute you're not supposed to know that i'm in a connection or i'm in a relationship you're supposed to still deal with me or, or, or whatever so yeah i feel like either you could have left this person out on the cold ghost to them or whatever y'all my nails look so messed up don't look at them okay so yeah with the moon here this could be like a secret what's the moon card or something here is just not seen or somebody here is being deceptive the judgment what's the judgment in the moon card I'm really, really picking up, like, this This card is, like, asking for help with the judgment card. Somebody here could be asking for help or they really, really need help. Okay, because we got Gabriel out here twice. Somebody here possibly is being judged or secretly they're under judgment 
or a connection is under judgment or for them not telling you that they was in a connection or them trying to go around it, beat around the bush, they're under judgment for that. What's the judgment card? There, what's the judgment card? You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Scorpio. What's the judgment card? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like somebody could have paid someone to resurrect a, a connection. Like, this could be... I feel like somebody's calling is to be a giver. That's just what it is. Some of y'all could be givers or you just lighthearted or you, you give. That's your calling. For some of you, you're supposed to be a giver. You're supposed to be like the Six of Pentacles. Or maybe this could be a decision that's being made about someone's like money. Or this could be generosity. I feel like the reason why someone wanted to resurrect something again in this relationship or things are getting serious is because someone here pays for a commitment. They pay for this energy to be in a relationship or to be in a commitment with them. This is like a lover, like, well, no, you can't leave me. I'm going to pay you to be in a connection with me, and I'm going to put a love spell on you. So that way you can never leave. But I feel like somebody here, like, wants to leave, or it's like every time they leave, they always go back because they always get, like, payments. They get presents. They get um, patronized. They get rewards with the Six of Pentacles here. This is someone here that's always going to, like, beg someone to stay. Like, no, I got this for you. Or, well, you did say you wanted that. Well, I, I can get that for you. So it's like, I'm going to do everything I can in my power to keep this person or to keep this masculine or feminine here with me. So that way they don't come towards you. I'm trying to tell you and have victory. You where it's at. Six of pentacles, I mean, the six of wands and the ten of pentacles. Okay. For some of you, you're getting victory on your own. Okay, victory is your ten of pentacles is yours. Longevity, wealth, success, and, and I feel like it's gonna be by yourself. What's the nine of swords? So yeah, I feel like this energy possibly wants the truth. The nine of wands. Okay, so the nine of swords is rushing towards someone. It's like somebody's rushing towards somebody. Scary as hell, like irritated, scared. Uh, it's like they, it's like they want to come rushing towards you, but they're in the nine of wands, like. Why the fuck they rushing towards you like being a pussy or being an asshole? Or it's like they're rushing to attack you with the love spell, but then they get hurt by their own love spell because it gets, it, it's, yeah, you leave. The Eight of Cups. What's this Nine of Wands? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius Gemini. What's the Nine of Wands here for Libra? We have the Four of Wands. So somebody here is a little bit intimidated or irritated with you. Maybe because you're in a commitment with someone or maybe because you could be on stage or you're just in this four of wands energy celeb uh, uh, celebrating. Or maybe somebody's irritated because maybe you want to reunite with someone or you reunited with someone or I don't know. It could be Aries, a Sagittarius or a Gemini. I feel like somebody is tired of looking at someone in a marriage or in a connection or something <laughs> and they keep getting rejected mm. I'm picking up somebody here has gotten hurt though. Like they seen that somebody was happy or they're in the four of wands. So yay, we're in a commitment, we're happy. And they like, ugh. Like you're in a commitment, you're happy with them, or you're married to them. That's what I'm seeing. It's like somebody's like side eyeing somebody's connection, or they're side eyeing somebody's four of wands, or I'm a side eye your twin, or somebody's side eyeing his neighbor. They just side eyeing this person. Yeah, because in the end, they still get rejected. And then, bam, there you go. Libra justice is here. And then something here gets laid to rest. Or somebody here is getting laid to rest. Or they're going to jail or whatever. I don't know. But I feel like somebody here is side-eyeing this person in the community. They're like, man, I'm just doing... Mm -mm. What's, the nine, what's the nine of wands? The four of wands here. Maybe because this person gets their way. Yeah, the start in reverse. Look, somebody's a hater. They don't want somebody here to shine at all. Mm -mm. I feel like this could be this energy like making it seem like um, 
everything is all good with the four of wands oh we're a happy couple and and we're this and we're that and we're so happy and we're married but the star in reverse they don't even believe in like twin flame dynamics or i mean you don't have to this is like an energy like ew four of wands ew married people ew but then they go and do love spells somebody here could be hopeless in despair like in regards to like a connection because they could be sick or they're this is like an energy like going through a backfire and they're getting sick off of their own love spell so somebody here could be love sick with the start in reverse somebody could be love sick yeah the three of swords they're hurt something here when it has to do with a third party or an ultimate betrayal look at this the three of swords the tower and the tent of freaking swords libra damn Oh my goodness. I'm picking up somebody here. The reason why they're in a commitment or they pretended like to be happy because they got something that, I mean, they have to stay together here. This could have been some type of cheating, which led to a betrayal, lies, and now somebody here can't heal from something or they're not trying to heal from something. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're not trying to heal from whatever this is. This could have been like a major tower. Look at this. The nine of swords. They're scared of this getting out. They're scared of this getting out. So this person could be keeping their distance from you with the three of wands. Yeah, because they're burdened. They're stressed. Yeah. They're stressed out about keeping this to themselves. Oh, we. But I feel like a queen of cups has exposed it all. Or a queen of cups is about to expose it. Somebody here is about to. What's the start in reverse? Listen, death and the three of swords. Mm, 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 mm. So your ex could be changing or somebody's ex could be changing something or ending something. Somebody here is putting an end to the cheating, the lies, and, and the betrayal, or they want to. What's the start in reverse? It's the two of wands. Somebody's going to choose to make the right decision here to go towards a family dynamic or to heal a family dynamic, or this is what they want with you. Maybe you have kids with this person. This could be an Aries or Pisces here. You could have kids with this person. Somebody's choosing to, I don't know, man. It's like maybe somebody doesn't believe in like happy homes or, you know, divine love or bliss they feel like they're not going to have that or it's just not i don't know but i feel like whoever this is and it's two of wands energy this could be what somebody's planning they could be planning for the future or planning a family but they're in the start and reverse which is letting me know they're not healing they're hopeless they're in despair or they could be very like fatigued tired weighed down maybe this love spilled and drained all that energy or they're pulled in this direction in that direction and it's just like mm -mm. yeah so i feel like they want to come out of conflict with you with the five of wands in reverse you could be dealing with a leo what's this nine of wands What's the nine of wands here? The justice. Wow. It's like somebody's a traveler or they could be foreign or they could be from a different country or this could be someone here that's going to... What's the justice with the nine of wands? Someone possibly wants to make it right with you. Yeah, about... Oh, something here is ending abruptly. Mm -hmm. it's ending abruptly here libra libra gemini sagittarius energy the betrayal i feel like maybe maybe this could be somebody rushing towards you something is significant about red and green so christmas i'm getting as well but something here could be significant about red and green i'm really really picking that up I feel like you could be getting justice with this person trying to backstab you or betray you or they were trying to call you. Somebody here could be very sexy. They could be very young and sexy. They could work in a legal department here. Maybe they like you or this could be like a young lawyer. But I don't know. What's, this, what's the justice in the sword? The death card. Oh, hell no. Nah. 
Something is ending, like literally the death and the ten of swords. This is someone here that's coming to travel towards you. This could be a young person, but it's like they plan on unaliving you too with the ten of swords and a death card. And we're going to rebuke that and we're going to send that, that energy right back to where the fuck it came from. Yeah, so somebody's like coming like right in your direction. Yeah, they could be sexy. Yeah, they're a traveler. They get around. Um, they're very impulsive. They they want to get what they want, but they're also planning to come and be in and out. They're also, this could be someone here younger. They're also planning to come in death and ten of swords you. I feel like if this energy is like trying, if their intentions are ill and they're coming towards you in this energy, it's just, shit is just going to be dead and done over. We got the five of cups. I feel like someone is mourning and grieving the loss of someone. Whoever this is that's mourning and grieving someone here, um, Libra, they see you on your pedestal. I feel like you know this. This energy is coming in um, wanting a offer with you or wanting to tell you that they like you or they want to flirt with you. This is like, this is like, um, a walking I, I said walking dead in one of them other readings yeah this person regrets being with a third party Scorpio heavy this person's like they they do too much but I'm getting this person could be like something is changing what's the death card the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something is stuck. Whatever this is that this person did, it's like they're trying to come in and redeem themselves now, but it's stuck. Whatever they did is stuck. It's not moving. The Knight of Pentacles. It's like they're trying to be methodical here when it comes to bringing you justice. I mean, yeah, they have to fix it with you, but at the same time, whatever they did, it is literally stuck. Whatever they said, whatever they tried to bind you with or curse you with is stuck with them. This could be someone here that has some type of entity or attachment to them, Libra. And it's like, yeah, with this magic they've been doing, they've been trying to see if it's working on you. But it only goes right back to them. And they the ones that get trapped, stuck, and binded in it. The Eight of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Magician. I feel like somebody here could be watching um, a magician or someone here manifest. Or they're trying to see if their spell work is working on you. Or if this love spell is working on you. And I'm getting it's not. Virgo Gemini energy, heavy Gemini energy here. It's not working. So they need to go ahead and, and just stop. Yeah. Because I'm getting... For some of you, this person could have like said something about you to the court or if this is a legal case going on or a pending legal case going on, they could have betrayed you and they could have possibly like threw you under the bus here in the court with whatever this is or whatever legalities this is they have going on. But this could be a case that is ending, okay, or or whatever. What's the Empress? Empress, please, because we do see the Emperor here. Look, the Emperor could be celebrating, or they could be indulging, drinking. What's the Empress? The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. You're meeting someone here, and it's fated to meet this person. We have the Wheel of Fortune and, and, and the Lovers here. This could be a deep love or a deep soul bond that you have with someone. This could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It's like you, you're fated to be with this person. I mean, you know, you have free will. You can do what you want to do, but it's fate. Your fate, your good luck, your good fate comes from being in a lover's connection here. Being in connections, okay? I'm also getting um, somebody wants to change their sex. Yeah. I'm also picking up somebody wants to turn back the hands of time, Libra, or or whatever. Like with this lover's card here, I'm getting somebody wants a sex change. Yeah. But it's like they don't have the money to get it. So it's like if you were dealing with like a, a emperor or something like that, the emperor wants to be the empress or whatever. Or I don't know. Maybe somebody feels like they're fated to be with the same sex or like, no, nah, I'm fated to be with the same sex and that's just what it is. What's the will of fortune in the lovers? 
We have the Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody here is getting victory or good fortune, fate. I feel like this could be you and the Six of Wands. You in a spotlight. You get public recognition or you could be getting public recognition. You could be um, being seen, being supported, being loved, being admired here, Libra. I feel like you're on path or you're on you're on the right calling here. You're doing what you're supposed to do at this exact time, at this exact moment, period. You know what I mean? At this exact second, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And I feel like there's someone that's curious here, like how you're getting all the support and getting all this attention. And it's like they keep watching you or they're, they're a little bit um, curious or somebody here is like researching you or they're looking at your supporters or who's supporting you watching like, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Or somebody wants to know like who is supporting you, Libra, or who's taking care of you or doing this. Yeah, it's the Queen of Cups that's watching you because I'm getting this person may have to say their money or they have to like, um, they could be trying to control something. Yeah, we have the devil here. Somebody's obsessed with like. I don't know, trying to see, like, how much money you got. But I feel like you're a free spirit. You're a fool. Like, um, not literally saying that you're a fool, but you're a free spirited. You could be on a new beginning. Or maybe you're going towards a soulmate connection to build on this or to work on it. Um, but I'm also picking up. Somebody is very, like, codependent, and, and they're watching who supports you. They're like, well, how are you getting all this support or this recognition or how are you always getting victory? I'm getting this person could be like studying you or they could be researching you. They're very curious to know they're nosy. This uh, Queen of Cups, this cares that could be keeping to themselves here for pentacles, but something here that has to do with things um, with the devil. What's the devil here? Okay, the Four of Cups, the devil could have rejected them or somebody rejected the devil. This Capricorn rejected them or Cancer rejected the Capricorn or I don't know. But I feel like whoever this is, somebody here could be holding on to someone or holding on to some type of karmic contract when it's already over. Or somebody here is bored doing being toxic. They're like, man, I don't want to be toxic anymore. I'm tired of doing all this. There's a there's a lot of magician or um magic being thrown here. That's what I'm also picking up. It's like this person sitting under the tree. They're like, man, I don't want this. Like, this is not what I want. I don't want you. Or maybe they're not attracted. Or somebody ended up settling to settling in a codependent type of toxic dynamic here. Where it's like they're chained and they're stuck. They can get out. It's like someone is like very lustful and very passionate here. And the other person, I'm getting the other person's is like wants to keep somebody's like I don't know I forgot what I was about to say I'm also pick, picking up somebody's addicted to like hoarding money, keeping money, possessions. They don't want to let none of these possessions go. So this could be like a lot of things that need to be cleared out. They they have a problem with hoarding this and keeping it um and not giving up anything here. All right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Libra. Let's see. How is this in here? Somebody wants to work on a connection with you. Whoever this is that has this love and hate, they want to be patient with you, Libra. I don't know how that got in there. Maybe when I was... I'm so glad I didn't use this deck, though, because it's in the other one. But um, I'm going to just place it right there. Let's see what's going on. Well, let's get more inf information. We have a thug. Okay, what's going on with this thug? Maybe somebody just got out of jail or they could be going to jail. But this person is feeling like shit, Libra. Maybe because you told them goodbye. You possibly told this person goodbye. Maybe you didn't say nothing. You just possibly left. Yeah, I feel like somebody here could be GPS tracking you or this person could be being GPS tracked. Somebody here could be GPS tracking you, Libra. They're trying to watch your every move. Okay. Yeah, give me this GPS tracking. 
Because when I see the page of swords, look, they're trying to watch you to see if you're sleeping with someone else. I'm getting this person could be riding past your home. If there's not a GPS tracker, this person could be like riding past your home to see like if you're in a connection with someone else or if you're romancing anybody else here. 3444, we just seen that. So know that your guides and your angels are protecting you from this phony, this trickster, this illusionist, this liar. This person that tried to send you a fairy tale or make you believe they was wishing that you believed in a little weak ass fairy tale, Libra, but I'm getting you didn't. Yeah, now this person's feeling like a jackass. Whoever that narcissist is, they're feeling like a clown because they got to watch you off a secret account or something here about a secret account here with a person here they should have learned a karmic lesson from. Listen, when it has to do with no strings attached, now they're trying to say that they miss you. But they feel like you being fake busy because it's too much in this connection. It's love and hate connection. It's always ups and downs. And I feel like you don't have time for that. They want to tell you that they miss you. Oh, I miss you. Even though I'm sorry, I've been fake busy towards you, Libra. I've been, uh-uh. No, I feel like you're rejecting that. This person doesn't know how to handle their finances. Now they could be under pressure because they feel like some time is running out. Maybe they owe people money or they're in debt. So it's like yeah something here um i'm picking up yeah this divine masculine they could be fed up yeah so the truth is coming out about a love child as well divine feminine you could be getting the truth here look at you popping up what's this divine feminine divine masculine truth discovery and awakening and fed up what is this about yeah, about a workplace affair. So this could have been something here that came to you. You could have just discovered this or you awakened that this person has affairs at the workplace. And it's too late for this twin flame journey or for this twin flame connection. Or maybe you feel like it's too late that this person, their karma has already intervened and is here. Or this person could be experiencing some losses or their karma was losing you, Libra. And now they're fucked up over you. Their karma was losing you. Now they could be having a mental breakdown. We have karmic ties. Yeah, they could be having a mental breakdown about how to cut these karmic ties with these energies. So with these karmic energies here, they done fell into a trap with a karmic. Now they have to go through something here. I don't know what this is. They done fell into some type of trap with a karmic. Whom they should have cut ties with. Karma ties and trap. And we gonna end this reading. Look, they're heartbroken. They mad. They fell into their own trap. And I may title it that. With the Jezebel, look. With the Jezebel. They mad. Look at them. Not happy. Because I feel like they're not happy. Because they're gonna be having regrets about you marrying somebody else. Mm-hmm. And I feel like your your wedding or whatever it's not going to be no fairy tale wedding it's not going to be i mean it's not going to be no phony no no tricks no trickster no nothing it's actually going to be the actual true fairy tale wedding that you desired okay i'm picking up also this person has massive regrets about getting married if they are married yeah so bad news about somebody having reckless love or reckless sex. But throwing love to the side. This is an energy here that tosses love to the side to have rec reckless sex. You see the love right here? This person don't even care about that. They just have reckless sex. So they have people that's genuine, that's true, that's loving, loyal, kind, honest, they throw that person away to go and experience fake shit with the Jezebel. So they could be getting bad news when it comes to a readings here. Yeah, because I'm getting whoever this is, somebody here is having a love child, but they're turning their back on a masculine or whoever because they, they did too much. There was too much deception, mind games, or love bombing here. So I feel like this energy is trying to make you soft or they want to do some type of love spill here. So that way you will accept them when they pop the question. But this is all because they're arrogant. They want their way with you, Libra. 
because they're still battling some type of sex addictions or they could be going through an ego death or a downward spiral because of that because you're moving on you're letting go of this energy you're loving on you and you're free yeah we have another pregnancy fake news this person could have multiple people pregnant and this person you could be seeing a true color it's like wait a minute you have multiple people pregnant yeah it's a negative multiple people multiple babies just like just making babies just because labor so i'm gonna leave it there like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos and until next time libra i'll be back on camera soon boo boos okay i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye